Hey, this is Donnie Troy, the CEO of OneQuest Payment. In this short video, I'm going to show you how the PAX S80 integrates with the PAX S300. And I apologize for my mess here. This is actually my workstation in my office. But we all know now that taking EMV chip cards, which is the chip on the credit card, it's extremely important. And mainly because it reduces your liability as a merchant to accept credit cards. And I have plenty of other videos going over why you should be taking chip EMV chip smart cards. So you can go through my channel and, and find those videos if you're interested in exactly why. In this video, I'm just going to show you how this how these two machines work together. Now, as a using a Pax S80, you could just use a Pax S80 and take chip cards. You don't need to use the S300. However, a lot of cards today, when you use them, they'll prompt the customer to input their secret passcode their EMV pin. And to do so, as a merchant, you have to put your S80, which is this machine right here, in a location where the customer can reach it, and you have to be able to swivel it around. And there's all, you know, there's great little swivel tools and mounts that hold the S80 that can take care of that issue for you. But at the same time, it's not as private to put the pin in. So the S300, which is this pin right here, it's very sleek looking, uh, works with a lot of different POS systems as well if you have a POS system and you need to integrate to take chip cards but it simply works off the internet and the PAX S80 doesn't even have to be plugged into internet there's a the pin pad simply goes into the S80 and it, then it uses the internet cable from the pin pad so I want to show you a transaction really quickly the, the merchant's going to do exactly what they would normally they're going to put the amount in they're going to enter you see this lights up, it asks for the customer to insert their pin, they put their card in, and they're just going to leave it in there, it's going to tell the customer exactly what to do, it tells them to remove it, and now you'll see the receipt comes out of the S80. Now if the customer leaves their card in there, it will continue to beep so that way they don't walk away without their card. Receipt comes out, everything else is the same, the merchant rips the receipt, has a customer sign it, and then they have a customer receipt for them. So it's just a convenience thing. The S300 has a long cord on it, so you can put it way out on the uh, checkout counter, and that way you can keep them separate, and allows the uh, merchant or the customer to have a little privacy when they're entering their pin. As you see on here, it has little uh, blinders right there for the customer, and they can simply put their pin in. Um, hope this video helps. If you have any questions about your credit card processing, your equipment, your rates, anything at all, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm here to help you. Um, I'll have my information in the description below. You can find out more at onequestpayment.com. Again, my name is Donnie Troy and I'm here to help you. Give me a call anytime and I look forward to talking with you.